As you know, today, uh, OpenAI released new tools such as web search, file search, and computer use for agentic use cases. Plus, they released an agent SDK, which we're going to take a look at in a future video. So let's begin with computer use. We are going to go over the documentation and implement it, but I have already implemented it earlier. And uh, we're going to run this now. We're going to ask it to open Edge browser. Let's actually just say Edge. Let's, let's not even give it any hints. And search NVIDIA cards on Google. Some striking things about this is that it actually accepts 1080p resolution, which is my monitor, monitor's resolution. Uh, Anthropics resolution was limited to 10, uh, 24, and 800, and you had to do conversions. So this is very convenient. And I am using Windows environment and keyboard. You run this script. If you download this from my Patreon, which it will be available uh, at, uh, you, you may want to modify this and for Mac or Linux. Let's just run this. And uh, before running it, I do want to say that uh, the script will take control of your computer, your local computer. We're not using a sandbox environment. So keep a close eye on it. Let's just run this, and I'm not going to move my mouse. See, it took a screenshot, and now it's sending that screenshot to OpenAI. We are waiting for an action. We're going to go through the documentation to see. OK, it does. It does we, are, we have implemented the safety check. Uh, we want to say yes to this. You don't have to implement the safety check. Here we go. It actually uh, went to Edge. Browser right here and clicked on it and open a new uh, Edge browser. Uh, I don't want to move the browser to show the terminal because uh, uh, I don't want to move the mouse or the position of the browser rather because it's going to send uh, coordinates to actually go and click and go to Google and hopefully search for NVIDIA cards. I have my caps lock on so. It is typing in all caps, but that shouldn't matter. It was able to go to google.com. And, and I did some tests, and it does, it does really well. In my opinion, it does better than Anthropic's computer use. So this is pretty exciting. I will definitely be exploring this, especially if you run it in constrained environments, such as, for example, only controlling cursor or something. I think this should go uh, a long way. Okay, we are waiting for it to return the text, I believe. We are going to implement this script from scratch using the documentation. That should be a good exercise. Oh, uh, I'm ready to search for NVIDIA cards. Should I proceed? All right. Uh, let's uh, do not stop until you have, let's say, until. Uh, Let's say do not stop until you have performed the search. So uh, this is not a loop. It just executes this task. So let's run this again. I'm going to close this. Took a screenshot. Send it. So it takes a screenshot, sends it to a computer use preview model. It gets some actions back. Then we perform those actions using keyboard library. I'm going to say yes to this. OK, good. At least now the browser is a little bit to the side. We can see the terminal. And then after each action, it takes another screenshot, sends it to the model, and waits for new uh, instructions. So it clicked on the URL bar. Oh, it just searches your uh, NVIDIA cards right, right away. So this was good. As you see, so it did search Bing. Uh, we did, uh, I guess we didn't say Google, did we? I will double check. So it actually performed the action that we were asking for. Let's see if it'll do anything else. Just took a screenshot. So it has some it has some variability. I've done this before too. So uh, it doesn't take the same actions each time. So it's not fully deterministic. 
Okay, so uh, it did notice that, I think we did say Google, and it did notice that it searched Bing. I think now it's going to go ahead and type in Google. That's good. Actually, it's, it's correcting itself. And when we, are go when we are looking at the documentation, we'll see that it actually is a reasoning step. This was good, actually. Uh, we did say Google. The fact that it's correcting itself is uh, promising. Yeah, this is pretty great. Okay, great. Yeah, so it succeeded and it should now stop performing tasks, which we'll see here. It should, it should conclude in the terminal. Yeah, that's completed. Great. Yeah, so this is not a loop. You can easily turn this into a loop. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and try to re-implement this. Let's quickly go over the documentation. So uh, the documentation includes setting up a local browsing environment with Playwright or Selenium. You can do that. Uh, or setting up a local virtual machine using Docker. You can do that also. But I just decided to use uh, my own computer. I think that's more convenient. As you can see, you just uh, you use this. We use this new computer use preview model for it. I just specify an environment. Give your uh, give your uh, display width and height. Uh, environments can be browser, Mac, Windows, or Ubuntu. You give it text input. You can uh, optionally send a screenshot, and then uh, it returns an action, suggested action, and it has a reasoning step. So the actions can be one of, for example, click, scroll, key press, uh, type, wait. Here it's assuming it's going to use Playwright or something like that. Uh, but we are actually using keyboard to do those, uh, to take those actions. And after that, you repeat, take a screenshot, send it to the model, get some action back, and then implement that, uh, take that action, and then take another screenshot, send it and repeat until the task is completed. So the way I implemented this is just, I just copied this whole page until about right here. So this should be a good exercise because uh, the Sonnet 3.7 doesn't know anything about this new API, uh, responses API. So there's a question, is there a reason it doesn't figure out the screen resolution? Yeah, it doesn't detect it. Maybe in future versions it will. We have to enter it manually. So uh, just whatever your screen resolution. Uh, I don't have a 4K display, but uh, in, the, in the documentation, there are no limitations mentioned about the resolution. So I'm assuming it should work with any resolution. Uh, that's my understanding. So. We're going to paste this documentation here, but I'm going to switch to edit because agent can get carried away. And after that, we need to kind of explain to uh, the model that this is a new API and we are using 3.7 Sonnet. So let's say something like, this is the new API from OpenAI. This was released today. So we will be implementing this uh, computer use, but you need to really stick with the documentation uh, as, uh, as your past knowledge might, might lead you astray. Uh, let's correct this, might lead you astray. So this is, we do say this, so it understands. Uh, let's say we are working on a Windows machine with 1080p resolution. Uh, ask the computer use to open Edge and search Google for NVIDIA cards, right? So this will be the task. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just run it like this. So this is uh, give or take how I did it the first time around. 
Okay, create a Python script that implements computer use agent. It's going to write a computer agent. So both this, you know, this computer use agent works. You can easily convert it to a, a chat where you continually give feedback or additional tasks. Uh, but we're going to create this computer agent.py as well. I did, when I was creating this, I did run into multiple errors right here. And uh, I was able to overcome it and got it, got it working. We're going to try to do the same here. Okay, we got our computer agent. Uh, and the task is not specified. Uh, let's say uh, move the task is a variable at the top of the script as a, as a string. Uh, as a string, let's send this. Uh, because this is 200 lines of code, and it is, uh, it is this time it's using pi auto GUI. All right, this is good. So one of them is going to use a keyboard. The other one is going to use pi auto GUI. That's, that's actually good. I need to fix the edit since it didn't properly preserve the existing code. Uh, all right, we'll just let it do it because uh, reviewing this code is going to take a long time. Maybe it'll, uh, let's see if it'll be able to one-shot it. It wasn't able to when I first wrote this computer use agent. But at least you'll be able to download this for my Patreon, at least one working example, and you can modify it. And maybe we'll try to get this to uh, be a loop. Let's run this. Okay, yeah, this was, this was a similar error I got. So let's paste this error here. It happened, but how do I do it? I mean, fast with AI. I'd heard about it. It's easy. So um, I came across 1000x cursor course. And that's great, you know, it just made everything super silky smooth. It just it just worked. I'm I'm telling you. Uh, Thousand X your coding. 